What is up, everybody? Today I'm here to talk to you about picture frames. We've all got pictures around our house of loved ones or things that we've done that we want to display, and these are a perfect fit for that. They come in both 5x7 and 4x6 in both landscape and portrait orientations, and they're really easy to make. Here's a couple highlights before we jump in. I made these on my Glowforge Plus. I used one sheet of 11 by 19 material for each one of them, and I made them out of 1 8 inch thick MDF. Of course, you can use whatever material you like. There's very little, if any, editing needed, so it would be easy on that front. And I rate this probably a two out of five on the expert level. Very, very easy to make. All you're gonna need is some glue and paint if you like, or you can leave them natural wood color, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the item, then I'm gonna walk you through how it's assembled, and then I'll show you the file itself. That's what's coming up next on BigBlueLaserDesigns.com. All right, here are all the pieces to your frame. And regardless of whether it's the 5x7 or the 4x6 or the landscape or the portrait, the principle is exactly the same. What you want to do is you want to start with this front piece here, turn it over to the back, and take this U-shaped piece and lay it right about here. Now I'm going to show you a method to make sure that this goes the place that you want it. So just follow me here for a moment. Here's how it's going to be assembled. You're going to, you're going to glue this on here, and then you're going to put this one directly on top of it and glue it on there as well, forming the slot that the photo will go into. But here's what I want you to do. We're not using any glue yet, you're just laying it together and put this slot piece right on top of that scored line. And then here's the part that I want you to see. I'm gonna turn it this way so you can see it a little better. This is going to end up going right in like this to hold up the picture. What I want you to do is I want you to look at the back right here from this line straight up. And I want you to move this whole thing this way, which is up <laughs> that way, until the bottom corner of this piece right here is at least in line with this edge right here. You see what I mean? I'm gonna exaggerate to make a point. Don't do this where it's way over the edge because when you stand it up <laughs> like this, you want this piece right here to be in line with the bottom of the picture. If it's like this, it's not gonna sit well, okay? So you want it like this right here, all right? So all you do is find the place that you want and line it up like this and make sure that this right here lines just like that. And now we go ahead and you can take this back out and we can glue these pieces in where, where you determine they should be, all right? So just glue this piece right on here. Try to get it about as straight as you can visually uh, here so that the photo will slide in there right. Then glue this piece on top of it and then this one and then now you'll be fine with this right here. And it's okay if you make a mistake a little bit uh, too far this way, you just don't wanna get too far that way. I hope that makes sense for you. And once you put that all together, of course, then it's gonna look like this one, or we'll, we'll take the white one over here. It's gonna look just like this, and you'll just be able to slide your photo in and out just like that. And you can put on whichever support piece you want on the back, just like that. All right. And of course, you've got the different words that you can put on there, together, you and me. And this one comes with an extra plus so that you can paint this one color and then put the plus on and paint it a different color. The I love us with a separate heart. Again, you can paint that separately or family. And these can be glued on wherever you like. Let's take a look at the file and I'll show you how easy this is to cut. Okay, now I'm gonna walk you through the file. It's really easy and all of the files are the same, whether it be the five by seven, the four by six or the landscape or the portrait, all the pieces are essentially the same. So let's just start up here on the top left and I'll just indicate what the colors mean. Black is cut and red is score. I know that sounds easy, but make sure that you don't mix those up because if you cut these red lines, you're gonna be very sad. So make sure you score the red ones. And also always make sure that you uh, you measure your material and adjust the slot if needed. And in this case, the slot is right down here. In fact, let's go down here and look at it now. This is the piece that the back holder slides into. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your material is not uh, larger than this. 
the way that I would do it if I were you is I would I always go to outline mode, which on a Mac is command Y so that I can see it without the uh, stroke on there. And then what I would do if I were you is I would just draw a rectangle over top of this one. Doesn't really matter how long it is and just draw one over top of it like that. And then if you want to go ahead and cut that slot right there and test it with your material to make sure that it's the right size, that would be really easy. Uh, and then you can adjust this slot if needed. So let's go back to looking at the overall design here. So after you've measured that and make sure that's the right thickness for you, from the left to the right here, you see the outline. Uh, this is the main frame with the scored wood grain on it. Here is the back piece. And this score line is just so that you know where to put this piece exactly. And that'll help you out a lot, just alignment wise. Of course, up here is the curly Q uh, back stand. And then here's the rectangle stand. And then this is the U-shaped piece that you saw in the earlier in the video that you align on the back. And then, of course, the last things are the together, you and me, family, and I love us. All of these are very easy to make, and I think you're going to really enjoy them. I hope you enjoyed making this as much as I did. If you need to know how to do things like edit slots, be sure to check out the videos in the listing or on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow my Facebook page and definitely join my Facebook group. I promise you're going to love it. You can find several hundred more designs like this on my Etsy store or on my website at BigBlueLaserDesigns.com.